hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, slowed or stopped breathing uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and now i come to the topic what is stopped breathing you know the medical term is used for uh, this uh, condition is known as uh, apnea, you know, and uh, it's used to describe slowed or stopped breathing. And uh, apnea can affect uh, the people of any age, you know, and the cause depends on the type of the apnea you have. And uh, apnea actually occurs while you are sleeping, and uh, for this reason it's often called sleep apnea you know and sleep apnea is uh, treatable with medications and lifestyle changes and occasionally surgery may be required you know and uh, if it's left untreated it can lead to heart and the brain problems due to lack of oxygen you know and uh, next thing is what are the types of apnea well apnea occurs when the airways become blocked and when the brain fails to send the signals to the breathe to breathe you know and the cause of your apnea is directly related to the type of the apnea you have you know okay and uh, for example the obstructive apnea you know and other one is the uh, central apnea and the mixed apnea and sleep apnea you know so these are the four major uh, types of the apneas you know and, uh, and the other one is like central sleep apnea you know and uh, i will start with the uh, uh, obstructive apnea you know. you know this type of apnea occurs when uh, there is an obstruction in the airways which prevents the proper breathing you know and uh, one of the main causes of the obstructive apnea is the enlarged tonsillitis tonsils you know the, the tonsillitis you know and the next one is central apnea you know. in the central apnea uh, in this case you know the area of the brain that facilitates the breathing uh, it does not function properly and uh, uh, this is the most uh, commonly seen in immature babies and uh, results from the improper development of the area of the brain you know and the next one is mixed apnea you know and uh, it's a mixture of both obstructive and the central apnea and it can occur when you are asleep or, or sometimes you are awake as well uh, now the next thing is the sleep apnea you know uh, it has many causes and the most common include uh, uh, like uh, overly relaxed throat muscles or the tongue you know or maybe enlarged tongue or maybe enlarged tonsils you know or being overweight or irregular function of the brain signals that control the throat muscles and uh, the shape of your head and neck you know and uh, during the episode of the sleep apnea a person is unable to breathe uh, sufficiently due to narrowing of the airways and which causes uh, them to snore loudly and uh, take long breaks in between the breaths you know and I think the central apnea over there there are many types of the central apnea and uh, each type has its own causes you know and for example the complex sleep apnea develops when uh, one is being treated for the obstructive sleep apnea with continuous uh, positive airway pressure you know and uh, uh, chin stroke breathing is caused by congestive heart failure or uh, stroke and drug induced apnea is caused by the certain prescription medications like uh, uh, oxycodone you know or maybe morphine you know and high altitude uh, periodic breathing can occur when you uh, reaches the altitude of uh, 1500 15000 feet or high you know and uh, the medical induced uh, central ap uh, sleep apnea is caused by like um, brain stem damage you know so these are the common causes and you should contact your doctor if uh, uh, you are suffering from the chronic snoring or uh, loud snoring or uh, choking in your sleep you know or maybe a like gasping of air when you're sleeping and uh, daytime fatigue in that case you should or maybe headaches and maybe difficulty in concentrating um, memory uh, problem uh, frequent urination at night 
dry mouth and sore throat you know so in that case you should consult your doctor you know and if you are uh, if you hear some uh, who is snoring loudly or uh, suddenly uh, or go quiet you know or you notice the long pauses in their breathing you know check to see if they are breathing you know and uh, if they are not in that case you should call emergency services straight away you know and uh, the next thing is what are the treatment options if the treatment options uh, they vary and depend on the underlying cause you know and uh, uh, before offering the treatment your doctor will ask you the questions about like uh, sleep patterns or maybe the uh, any family history or medications you are using or uh, like uh, medical history and the sleep testing is uh, uh, mostly advised to diagnose the sleep apnea and there are many kinds of the sleep studies and the most uh, involve uh, you sleeping in a medical facility with the monitors that are reading your brain your nerves and uh, your heart signals like blood pressure heartbeat breathing rate you know and uh, uh, the most uh, a common sleep studies include like uh, a nocturnal uh, polysomnography you know or uh, oximetry you know or maybe uh, a portable cardio respiratory testing so in case of the polysomnography test uh, uh, that measures the electro uh, brain waves you know breathing rate uh, blood pressure and uh, blood oxygen levels you know and uh, Uh, various other body conditions during the sleep you know and in case of uh, oximetry uh, it may be the oxygen <coughs> level in the blood you know and, uh, and the portable cardio respiratory testing is uh, uh, it monitors the breathing and the pulse throughout the night uh, away from a hospital setting you know and and there are different approaches for the treatment like uh, treating the medical conditions you know like uh, which are causing the sleep apnea and uh, mostly the first line treatment is to treat these underlying conditions and uh, like losing weight or exercise regularly and sleeping pattern you know and uh, changing the medications like uh, Uh, it it's sometimes helpful you know and uh, wearing a breathing mask uh, while you sleep and uh, this mask is uh, called like continuous positive airway pressure mask you know or cpap a mask you know and wearing it it supplies with you a constant air while you are sleep you know and other treatment options include like uh, wearing the oxygen mask or uh, taking medications that stimulate the breathing you know or maybe using ventilator device to regulate your breathing patterns which is known as uh, adaptive uh, servo ventilation and surgery to remove any obstruction from the airways you know and uh, if you have the severe apnea your doctor may perform the surgery which is called known as tracheostomy tracheostomy you know and the purpose is to uh, create an opening to your throat you know and this opening on the stoma is often fitted with uh, a tube to facilitate your breathing you know and the heart problems may uh, occur due to sudden stops in your blood pressure and uh, oxygen levels that occur with the slowed or the stopped breathing you know so the early detection and the treatment is the best way to prevent this complication Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. You know, and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information every day. Thank you and good luck.